Till Death Podcast with your hosts Ian and Jen Avina. Brought to you by Skyview Studios and Chelsea Smile Clothing. That just means you're having fun. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Till Death Podcast with your host Ian. And Jen. And we got James back. I'm back, bitches! <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. The drinking has go. already started. Uh, is your mic set up good? We all... Is, yeah. Could it be low? Uh, do you want it like this, or do we need to go Here, let's deeper? Do... <laughs> Always deeper. It's up. Oh, A little better. So well, it's up, you, like, up in your... In my mouth? In your mouth. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So, uh, well, the... Weird dick jokes have already started. Uh, let's go. There's nothing with... weird about it. Yeah, true. It's just two men. That's 2019. <laughs> uh, so you do uh, have a man bun. <laughs> I do. Well, no, it's like it's yeah. still a pony. A man bun's like a, a top? like top knot, right? I yeah, don't know. that's true. Yeah, I mean, well... if I did that, I would be way too hipster. Wait, wait for it. Yeah, Glasses so, on. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, so wait, yeah. what do we call that? If it's not a man bun, we gotta call it's, it something. So it's like it's a ponytail, but then it's the part that normally hangs back is tucked back up in that exact same what is that? Uh, uh what is those things? The rubber band thing. I can't even think what it's called. Uh, oh my god. There you go. Okay. Oh well, that's Whatever. good. You know. Thank you, <laughs> madam. <laughs> I'm triggered. I'm so <laughs> triggered right now. I need to go uh, my uh, safe space. He's Hold just on. really good I'll at stop. tucking. That's all. Oh, nice. <laughs> Damn. Where's the... <laughs> Where is it? Where is that? Hello, McFly. <laughs> so late. That's what I think about your guys' jokes. <laughs> all right. I like the sunglasses. It makes me feel like a different person. I'm liking this. I all feel right. like, like Big Daddy. When he like, puts sunglasses on, he feels like no one can see him. No one can see him. Yeah, that's mm. how I feel. Thank you, Adam. Is secure Sandler. right now with I your do. bun? I do. You guys are attacking me. I figured it was going to be like you know she was outnumbered, but I guess I'm sorry. I guess it's me. We could we could we could tag team later. <laughs> no, that, that, yeah, wow. that's that's wow. Wow. Can we not just, about tag teaming can, my wife. Can we please? just edit that part out? <laughs> no, because that's hilarious. Um, obviously. That was not, not, not happening. That way, yeah, that was not the way. That that. <laughs> so, anyways, Chelsea Smile Clothing uh, isn't your typical run of the mill startup clothing line. Founded in 2017, they've taken over a decade of metal touring experience and adapted the clothing line to fit the times. They've searched for the best quality cotton and best denim to create their brand. You won't be disappointed. Styles change, family stays the same. Join the Chelsea Smile family at chelseasmile.co. Uh, the April promo code, it's almost over. Uh, it's Chelsea Smile Family uh, for 25% off your entire purchase throughout uh, April 2019. Uh, after that is done, I believe the TDP code for 20% will still be valid. They have some um, new joggers, new little jogger pants that are, that are pretty cool. They just came out with today. Sweet. And uh, they had that the new gold leaf shirt. Did you see that? I did see that. I actually yeah. was cruising through it earlier today. Uh, that's pretty cool, right? That's some good stuff on there. <clears throat> but um, now, in uh, honor of our good friend Nick Wright, we're going to have James read the Drop Anchor uh, Patch Company ad read. Here you go. All right, here we go. <laughs> Drop Anchor Patch Co. <clears throat> new and upcoming patch and gear company. It's here to stay. It's American made. Founded in 2018. <laughs> Long time ago. Uh, do not miss the next drop. Anybody who doesn't understand what that means, it does not mean drop of the balls. It means <laughs> drop of the patch. Go and support your veterans. Follow him and the company at Instagram. On, what, is it? what is it? How do you read that? Drop at Anchor. Drop Anchor Patch Co. Go ahead, give him, what is it, a like, a follow? How does Instagram work? Just stalk him. Stalk him. On Instagram, yeah. yeah. So, so Nick, with applause. this, That's what with this nice uh, ad insert here, that means you need to get your ass in gear. <laughs> there we go. In gear. You got called out. Uh, all right, so um, 
now that those are done, uh, we we actually were we're gonna do this in a couple in a couple sections because Marvel Phase Three, which is actually what our podcast is about, we probably should have said that first. Uh, so Marvel <laughs> Phase Three is gonna be in two parts because there are nine movies. A lot. Yeah. A lot. So uh, there were five in the other breakdowns that we did for Phase One and Phase Two. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to do uh, the first four, I believe, or first five, and then we're going to take a little break, and then uh, we're going to do the, the other one. So uh, part one is going to be released on Monday, and part two is going to be released on Thursday, the day that the uh, the previewings come out for, for Endgame. So. And just to confirm, there's nine in phase three, but nine. the ninth one is Captain Marvel. Yeah, and we already did a review on that. Thank yep. you. Um, so we can go listen to that for a better review. We're still going to say a couple things about it and say kind of our... Um, what we don't like. Yeah. It, it, this is like the post, like a couple months afterwards, how we're feeling now about it, especially with other shit that Brie Larson has done. Um, <clears throat> so so a little bit about what's been going on with us. Uh, I know last week I was talking to you about how much I've been working and doing all that, and it is done not like I got fired or anything, but, uh, <laughs> but just the week of craziness. Yeah, yeah the, the two weeks of managing and all that is done. Uh, manager said I did a fantastic job. Oh, that's good. That's Aww. always good. So, and she's new, so I think that's that's what it is. It's just she just doesn't know me yet. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she's like, yeah, you're great. Um, but uh, now we have four days off together. I know. I know. It's so random that pretty, we got this. What are you guys going to do with all that time? Whole lot of fucking... Uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> like so many activities. <laughs> there we go. There we go. I just got straight to the point. Uh, well, we started it off with golfing, which there's so many, you know, dick and ball jokes in that. So it's, you know, close. This is why uh, I don't have my parents listen. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, that's why I've told, uh, my mom, my stepdad, yeah, take your time finding it. Um, <laughs> you know, it's fine. Apparently uh, Gonzo is really pissed that he's yeah. outside. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, but we went golfing today, which was, uh, pretty fun. You beat me by 19 strokes, I yeah. will admit. Yeah. I, I would say I'm pretty happy with my 80 after not playing. Yeah. Which is really weird that for a she while. was able to beat you. Yeah. With 19 strokes, considering usually it's a personal sport, and your stroke game should be a lot better than hers. Yeah. Yeah. That was a dick joke. <laughs> I just, just don't know. We should keep track of how many dick jokes. Yeah. Yes. What's the dick joke tally? A tally <laughs> whacker. <laughs> four. We're yeah, I think four. we're Four. <laughs> Oh, yeah, speaking of four, you should have yelled that at the cars today. Uh, I saw the video. Yeah, <laughs> so uh, it wasn't as bad as me, like, hitting it and it going through my legs, which has happened. Uh, but it went, uh, it went probably, yeah, like. It was like a good 45 degree angle. Yeah, 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 exactly. Like, and <laughs> there's, there's a street, road. there's a street behind me, which is kind of probably what always fucks with me on that hole because you said I did the same thing last you time. You did the exact same shot last time. But there was not a car waiting to turn left into an apartment complex right next there. <laughs> so, and it bounced <laughs> over the railing, bounced into traffic, and like like over the hood, I swear. That, I, that's what exactly what it looked yeah, like. Yeah, but we didn't know because he's like, don't make eye contact. You no, know, it's like we're driving by, just don't fucking look over. Don't, don't look, look, don't look. look. We just we're drove. Driving. And, it, well, because we're, like, I also... I was pretty traumatized because oh, before yeah. that, uh, I, I was really triggered by a goose. Uh, oh. It was trying to kill a bunch of little baby ducks. Yeah. It literally grabbed it in its mouth. Yeah, like two, three times. Like, Gah! You know, when, when you guys told me this on, while you're on your way home, yeah, uh, I, I made fun of it. But apparently, ducks are rapists. So if you wouldn't mind explaining me, <laughs> this we almost right. saw that happen too. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Okay. So I, okay. To to be completely honest, we hate ducks. Uh, they're the rapists of the animal kingdom. Uh, there is, I believe, I watched it on a documentary uh, before, but it's. Um, so the duck penis, uh, <laughs> just to get straight <laughs> into it, 
Is it bunk? No, it's a no, fucking corkscrew. It's a corkscrew. Oh, yeah. And the reason yeah. why is because the ducks would just hold down the female ducks and rape them. And so the female duck's vagina, like, over time, over time to basic, like, to be curved yeah. inside so it would stop the duck's pe- dick from getting in. And the duck's penis evolved to fit in. Hell yeah, the male species. I'm Can't sorry, but back. that if that is not an example of no, guys what, no, doing what's... anything again, like I'm gonna make my dick do like take corners. I'm gonna make it turn. Like it's but it's creepy looking. If you ever look up, I know you're gonna look. What am I doing? You want to get duck get dick? Out. It okay. literally is like two feet long corkscrew. What the hell? No. It's creepy. It's so creepy. I can't look at ducks the same again, ever. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, look I am it's dumbfounded. It is... The, the, is that really his penis? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. It's longer than okay. its body is. The duck wine opener. Oh! oh. So, so <laughs> for your mom! Opener. No, for Ron. So, okay, so, no, because there's ducks that the go. Wide opener, yeah, it, it's yeah. absolutely amazing. <gasps> yes. For Ron, we yes. have to. Okay, oh, yeah. okay. I'm making yeah. a note. Making a note We're right finding okay. one. Wait, Amazon. just say it. Alexa, order a duck corkscrew <laughs> wide <Dan>. opener. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, Dan's. <laughs> well, oh no, he sent me screenshots of shit that that has been ordered on his Alexa. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. I'm pretty sure the dildo one was in there. Dan should have sent that to you guys. That it would be it'd be an awesome studio gift. Just a giant no. dildo somewhere in the corner. Can you not nope. fucking nope, give nope. him ideas? <laughs> Dan, please. No. Dan, send it to him. <laughs> I, I'm I'm just gonna just when you start giving him ideas, I'm just gonna I'm not, that's gonna be like a rave in here. <laughs> I'm not going to be invited back in my... No, no. This is a bad idea. Hey, and Nick, I know you guess, haven't seen the movies. Yeah. Can you please get over here now? Uh, <laughs> so, okay. So, a couple of things that I wrote down for our top news or stuff going on with us besides the golf. Uh, when a little uh, a little pet peeve I have of people when I was in Walmart uh, was says, going to Walmart for golf balls and having to deal with a fully fat family of four taking up the whole walkway and walking slow. That's what I wrote when I was in Walmart. Just Walmart anyone else? In Walmart. That's anyone also else the movie you had time to walk in text. Yeah. Well, it makes yeah. sense in Walmart because er, you know they pride themselves. I don't know if it's the same today. Like everything's made in America, and you yeah. know, fat people are what made we're known for here. Well, I mean, Jesus. there's an entire following of people of Walmart, so you got to expect that when you go into uh-huh. a Walmart. So there's there a McDonald's. At Walmart. Come on. No, it is. It's it's one of those things too. And they're a, they like aggressively get in front of you with their fucking cart and then walk slow. And it's like, dude, like I could hit you and walk fast, and you wouldn't catch me. So, <laughs> so how? So I want to know how they this? aggressively got in front of you then. It, it like like when you when you're going into the entrance and like if here's the you know there's the entrance and I'm going walking in straight across the street and they're kind of coming in from the from the side mm-hmm. they like fat ass and big cart and all just like drifted like, into yeah, the yeah just drifted <laughs> like into the entrance and I'm like well you take up the whole fucking thing so I can't go around you and then the when herd. you walk into a Walmart into our Walmart it's like the customer service thing mm-hmm. right there to the right and then it's just a hallway. And then McDonald's. So, of course, Mm -hmm. they're just going to stand there and fucking hurdle in front of the goddamn McDonald's. And so it's, you can't, and it's like (laughs) road rage, but like walking, I fucking, I'm I'm a basket case, basically is what I'm saying. Target, you never seem to have that issue. I think when when we go, uh, we don't. Excuse me, it's Target. Oh, no, you're one of those people. Yeah, so last time you were on the podcast we talked about that you had worked at target and yes i said i heard oh. that story she asked me later when we were listening back to it oh really what was that story so what happened uh what happened at target uh, what story when you you not being at target anymore oh why i got fired yeah Oh, uh, simple. Uh, <laughs> He's I'm like, I thought, was, I thought it was going to be, oh, I can't discuss this yeah. uh, on the classified air. Classified information. <laughs> uh, no, so it was uh, December 21st, 
can't remember which year. How do you have that memory? Well, I just said I can't remember the year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I can't remember the good. year, not the, the day. The day well, because it was it was during Christmas. This guy, I was in the security office watching cameras. Uh, was actually watching another. You patted someone target. down, didn't you? No, no. I was watching a Target employee from the Corona store. Who? So you know when you buy certain things, they'll give you like five dollar red cards back, like gift cards. Mm-hmm. Well, the cashier was holding on to those instead of giving them to the guests. Technically, that's the guests' money. Yeah, they've earned it. Yeah. That's like their refund type thing. Well, they weren't giving them to the guests. If the guests didn't know. They pocket them. Yeah. Rack it up. Yeah. So they're saving 100 200 300 dollars of five dollar gift cards, ten dollar gift cards. Yeah. It would go to different targets and spend all that cash. It's free money in their pocket. Technically that's stealing, right? Yeah. Uh, I mean they're not gonna be prosecuted, you know, by law enforcement, but Target will fire them, you know, and go from there. Yeah. So I happen to recognize this employee at our Target and I'm watching them. They selected all their items, and I have to watch them the whole way through. Well, during that time, I'm in the office. I'm watching cameras. At the last second, I see this gentleman with a cart full of everything from toys, clothes, shoes, electronics, TVs, pushed through the exit, like the front exit, and didn't wait for uh, the sliding doors to open up all the way. So the emergency door, you know, they pop the swing open. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I noticed that. And I see that as, holy crap, this guy's fucking stealing shit. (laughs) So I run out of the office. I run to those doors. I look to see where he's at. Everybody in the store is pointing outside. So I run outside. The five people standing outside see me come out, and they point to the parking lot off to the side, which is if you're facing Target and Elsinore, it's to the left. Okay. So I look left. I see this guy. And I start running. Well, anybody who knows anything about, like, security within, like, you know, Targets and Walmarts, there's that typical rule of you can't go into a parking lot. Yeah. Right? You have to stay on the sidewalk surrounding the building, which I knew this rule. And I'm running, and mid-halfway, you know, to the sidewalk, I yell out, hey. And this guy stops. He's in the parking lot and just stops. And, like, nobody does that. No. So, <laughs> they just keep fucking running. So I just kept running. I didn't stop at the sidewalk. I was, like, dumbfounded. I ran up to him. I put my hand on the cart. And I didn't know what to say. And the words out of his mouth were literally, you got me. Uh, okay. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Was this still the cor- the Corona? No, no, no. 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 I was, that's what that's, distracted me oh, from this guy. okay. Right? So, so totally guy, separate guy. This guy, I mean, he's just he had a mouth of stuff. Full. Yeah. So if I remember it as 1200 but I remember some of the other employees saying it was $1,600 worth. But he just thought he could just roll <laughs> out dude, casually? Dude. He did. Was he, he rolled out like, casually. Older, younger? Uh, he was in his, his mid twenties. Okay. And at that time, I was probably twenty five. Like couple how years. stupid no, not even. can I you be? I was twenty four. I got out twenty three. So he 24. just casually walked. Oh, you got me. I mean, he would have gotten away with it all if he waited for the doors to open all the way up. But it's because they busted open, and I saw that like off the corner of my eye on one of the other cameras, is how I reacted to it. So, there wasn't any employees that, like, just thought it was a little weird? Well, he just the thing was... is, it's December 21st, so the store was crowded. Oh. Uh, yeah. So, that, yeah, so it's not Target. unheard of for people to shop last minute. I was yeah. When you, you said know. you remembered the date, I was like, there's going to be a reason why. Yeah, it was because it was right before and then, Christmas. Yeah, that makes sense. You're like, oh, there's so much fucking yeah. shit going on. So, so I go back, I grab the cart, and I was like... All right, dude. Well, hey, um, let's go back to the sidewalk and let's talk about this. You're like, this dude's kind of chill, I guess. <laughs> yeah, so and I was maybe... still, I, like I and said, he I was wasn't dumbfounded. trying to run away at this wasn't point. Wasn't trying to run away, wasn't arguing with me, nothing. And so I had my partner, Gabe Peralta, that night come out and uh, I was like, hey, dude, take the cart back to the sidewalk and I will walk our friend back to the sidewalk. So I, I grab his shirt, you know, no big deal. Yeah. And escort him back to the sidewalk, and I have him standing there against the wall. He's right now his back is against the wall. He's he's talking. I said, "Hey, you know what's going on?" 
you know, what were you thinking? You know, yeah. do you have the money to pay for this? You know, what's going on in your head? <laughs> yeah. So Give me something. He straight up said, "No, I don't have the money for this." <laughs> said, okay. He's so know, calm. I mean, you have TV, you have Xbox, you have clothes, video toys, games, everything. Yeah. You know, and he's like, "Well, yeah, I was." I got a lot of nieces and nephews, and I was this, you know, Christmas shop, and I don't have enough money. I said, all right, you know, I can understand that. I said, but do you understand Sick, how this it, works? Sixteen hundred, you said? Uh, well, on the states, I will say twelve hundred because I, I that's how I remember. But I, I also remember like other people telling me it was sixteen hundred. Uh. Um, so we go from there, and I'm like, all right, man. Well, hey. Uh, do me a favor, turn around and let me just do a quick search on you so, you know, I know I'm safe and good and go ahead and put yeah. your hands behind your back. Yeah, no needles, got no knives. All that kind of stuff. Out. So it, it, Makes sense. Once again, 100% compliant, turns around, hands behind his back, and I'm still confused of what the hell is going on. Or waiting for something waiting to happen. Waiting for something to happen. And so I go and I pull out my handcuffs and I click one handcuff on and that's where the surprise came. He turns around, tells me he's a UFC fighter, and oh, we start God. rolling. Oh. No so, way. Uh, um, a little secret, you bad guys just don't listen to this part. There's no cameras on that side of the building. None. Oh. So I'm in a dead zone. Yeah. And no one my can buddy's see there happen. too, but and he tries to jump in and help. And in the shuffle, my hand gets caught in this dude's um, hoodie. And it wraps around his neck, so oh. now it looks like I have him in a choke. <laughs> and at the same time, we fall forward. Oh. When we fall forward, we fall into camera view. Oh, no. Right? So, so that's the first <laughs> thing you yeah, see. Yeah, we, we hit the ground with my arm around his neck. Perfect. <laughs> I, I prop myself up. I instinctly look to the left towards the front door to see if anybody's coming yeah. on camera. It looks like I'm looking at the camera. I shuffle backwards <laughs> to get standing up, and it looks like I'm dragging his ass like, oh, out of the camera shit. <laughs> so, Dang, so we're shuffling back. Buddy. We get back up, and then now my buddy is really able to help me out, and we pit him against the wall. We get him in the handcuffs, <laughs> and we go from there. So then I do like yeah. the typical up through the handcuff, over the shoulder, yeah. bent his ass forward, and I escort him back into the office. And now he's compliant again. It yeah. was just that 20-second, 30-second little scuffle. And I was like, God, yeah, UFC fighter my ass, dude. <laughs> so, he was taller than me. I mean, he was probably 6'3", six, 6'4", six, and I'm 5'10". Okay, five, so ten. you got to think, was that... <laughs> so what the fuck happened in that 30 seconds? Okay, did he either have, like, a flashback of when he got a handcuff on and he's like, nope, fuck you. I do, or like, I, know, I mean... He's like, I can't just, go back to jail. Does he have, like, a mental condition where it's, like, 30 seconds of just crazy? I, you know, it, well, I, I mean, don't know. I, I mean, that wasn't the first fight I've been what in if he's at Target, so, so... And he just... Well, those too are, late for like, that. Yeah, one, most, of, one of them's a klepto, one of them's Most people would have ditched the car and the Oh, yeah, yeah, or even still try to push the car and go. Like I said... I was dumbfounded the entire time. So we get him back in, and because he fought, not only is he handcuffed, but now he's handcuffed to the bench, and the bench <laughs> is bolted down. <laughs> right? And, like, again, he's compliant now. He's talking to us like a normal person. And so I do my report and everything and call the police and said, hey, this is what we have. We're like, all right, we'll be out there. And uh, I remember this one officer... She was a little short, uh, short officer, uh, Deputy Stotler. She was cool. Um, and I can tell you a little story about her a little bit later on another incident. Yeah. And, uh, but she comes in and, and like all cops, they do their own search. Yeah. And this guy's wearing like baggy sweatpants with pockets, you know. And during yeah. my search, I didn't find anything Thief in you. there. The, the Thief, Thief gear. Yeah. It's a thief uniform. Just real nice and yeah, loose. Exactly. That's what they get when they... And uh, so... <laughs> She stands him up, starts searching them, and we're not allowed to go in the pockets unless we know merchandise is in there. Yeah. Right? So we, we can still fill on the outside. I didn't feel any or think any of our merchandise was in there because it was all in his fucking cart. <laughs> well. <laughs> no TV stuff in his no pants. No TV was in his fucking pants. 
so, MC Hammer parachute pants. Yeah, maybe. Be dope. If he fucking did that, like fucking yeah, yeah, the MC shuffle, I'd like. You're good. You're yeah, good, you're good bro. take it. You're you good. That was that was twelve hundred dollars or sixteen. <laughs> See, well deserved. That was, a, that was a tip. So she searches him and finds uh, a safety knife, a box cutter. Now, it's not like the typical where you press the button on the back and slide it forward and mm-hmm. it's done. Yeah. It's the one where it has the little circle on the side. You have to loosen it, uh, push the blades out, and the blades are a bunch of, they're like, you know, okay. quarter inch long and they break off really easily. Uh, and you tighten the screw back down. It's like a super safety safety knife, okay. right? Yeah. Well, that's a cutting tool. in Target... If you see somebody use a cutting tool, whether it's a screwdriver, a safety blade, yeah. uh, pliers, the security is no longer supposed to do anything. You call cops immediately and say, hey, they have a tool. They're cutting things, which he used because he had cell phones and he cut off this, oh, the clips and stuff like that. Okay. But again, I didn't see any of that. Yeah. So... She gives me a bunch of shit for not finding the box cutter. <laughs> yeah. and yeah, I'm, like, I'm I sorry I didn't put my yeah, hand down like, his pants. You know we can't like go dig it in their pockets and stuff. I'm not trying to feel yeah. nothing. So I don't know if it was a box cutter or his dick. I don't know. Yeah, you're like, I didn't want to. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> trying to assume. <laughs> and uh, so, you know, I do my report. And in my report, I wrote that the deputy found the box cutter in the pocket Everything was legit from the point of I didn't stop running. Yeah. You know, the guy said, I, you got me, everything. And uh, I've always been really good at the report writing and stuff like that. And Target would praise me on some other stuff. And the cool thing about Target security is the people on Elsinore security can see what's going on in India security. Like, across the world, you could pull up security what? reports. So it's really cool. Dang. And like... You know, regions yeah. will give out awards and like recognition, like, hey, good job, nine hundred dollars, blah blah. You guys led to the capture of so and so who's been robbing up and down the fifteen freeway, which will lead me to a quick little snippet of Stotler and why she was so cool. So there's this other guy who's going back <laughs> I'm through. really glad I asked you about this story, yeah. by the way. <laughs> Nintendo DS was was hot, like yeah. when it first came out. There's this guy, this uh, female um, going up and down the 15 from Rancho all the way down to uh, Temecula, stealing Nintendo DSs. And so everybody knew what they looked like. Oh, it was a you, don't worry. Yeah, were you, <laughs> you the female? Look, were you, you the female doing it? It was a, it was a, it was a husky uh, Hispanic man, short hair, it's no beard. It's ma'am. That was ma'am. <laughs> it's ma'am. <laughs> so him and his girlfriend or female partner had just hit the Corona store and they didn't catch them until after and they reviewed it real quick and yeah. they're like, this just happened 10 minutes ago. So they like send it out kind of thing. Because of what they do, be ready. I'm like, all right, cool, thanks. And they always use a cutting tool. So I knew I wasn't going to try to apprehend them. Is this them. like a Paul Blart, like, like mall cop? Like, no. you know, he's on his like segue. Like segue. <laughs> was there like a, like a room in the back where all... <laughs> <laughs> no, this like, is we're, my target. We're, yeah, we're target. <laughs> Don't come to my fucking mall. <laughs> and, uh, so, and I just saw a video, or a video on that today, too. Like, in the, but, in the front, you just piss on a line. This is my fucking territory. <laughs> oh my so, this guy walks in, and I was, like I said, I already knew most likely he was coming. So, as soon as he entered the store, I knew he was there. Yeah. And so, I immediately called the cops, told them, hey, this is what we have. We have five plus reports from all these targets. He's good to go. They're like, yeah. all right, cool. What's his modem? You know, like, he always uses the cutting tools, still cell phones and Nintendo DSs. Yeah. They're like, all right, cool. So, two minutes later, the female walks in. She goes over to Soft Lines, or it's the clothing. Okay. She goes to the female clothing area yeah. and with the shopping cart and starts throwing clothes at the top, like the basket, the baby basket area. Okay. With her purse right there. Duh, I know you're going to put the stuff in your purse. Yeah. That's how it always happens. So I'm like, I call back and I say, hey, now the female's here. I'm like, all right, cool. Thank you. Where is she at in relation to him? He's in electronics. She's over here to the left of the store. He's in the back of the store. Cool. Thank you. So two officers walk in casually, no big deal. Walk in, kind of start looking around. They give me a call. Do you see the female? Said, uh, yes, I see the female. She's over. She's still over here towards the back wall towards the fire exit. All right, cool. Where's the male? He's actually walking towards the front, 
going through uh, little boys clothes it's gonna be coming through the little girls clothes and like all right cool so they hide into where um, like the sunglasses and the jewelry are they okay. just walk okay. in there so he he's gonna bypass them so he does he bypass bypasses them they start walking out behind him as soon as he walks out pops up Stotler on the camera uh, actually her name's not Stotler it's uh, Julia Vega. <laughs> and she pulls out she draws down on him and he has a Red Bull in his hand she draws down on him dang and he stops puts his hands up BLM movement type shit <laughs> heads up don't shoot <laughs> and uh wait wait draws on him like like gun or stun gun g- gun yeah okay, okay. I was about to be like <laughs> gun gun damn like, gun gun no she draws playing. down on him with her gun and, you know, orders him to get on his knees, gets on his knees, throws the red pull in his hand. She walks up, slaps that shit out of his hand. <laughs> like, it's still gun drawn and everything. Orders him, hands behind your back, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, this is fucking cool. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm still, I'm in my little security office. All the target office. employees are like, whoa, whoa, yeah, what's like, going on? And I'm like, supposed to be, you know, the protector of target. And I'm in my fucking office like, fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're like, fuck you, you employees. You got it. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> so she detects him, gets him out by the camera view and everything in the back of a patrol car and they're like, alright, the female's still there? I said, yes. So in walks this butchy female officer with the canine. Whoa. Walks in. Uh, it, was, it was a Belgian Malinois, so like my dog. Yeah. And, Good and puppy. Walks in and she's like, alright, you know, through dispatch lead me in. So I'm like, alright, just keep going. Alright, it's the Hispanic female. She's all by herself. She's up against the wall. Alright. Then you hear, okay, the deputy has eyes on. All right, thank you. Click. <laughs> Dog just started going shit crazy. I was like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Right? So then the people's like, oh, I'm not doing that thing. And she's like, yeah, whatever, lady. Yeah. So they fucking arrest her ass, too. So it was a great night. It was a fucking awesome night. Yeah. That sounds that cool. cool. Yes. But, like, I working there, I met, like, a lot of cool officers. Uh, deputy Estrada, who... Actually, what do you know, Estrada? Yes. He's got all the tattoos. Yep. He actually does Krav Maga, or did do Krav Maga. He's one of the instructors at the school I go to. Oh. Uh-huh. Um, and it was funny because, like, I, I noticed, like, I would look at him and he would look at me, like, how we, we kind of line up at the beginning and hand in our little attendance cards and shit like that. <laughs> and we kind of just, like, stare at each other, like, why do I know you or why do you look familiar? <laughs> And then later on, one of the other instructors was like, oh, yeah, Estrada, he's a Riverside Sheriff. I was like, fuck, that's where I know him from. I said, hey. And at, and at that point, he was no longer an instructor. He wasn't instructing at my school anymore. Mm-hmm. So, hey, if you ever see him again, let him know I'm not a bad guy. And I was one of the target guys, which is where I met him. <laughs> <laughs> so he's not always thinking, that guy, I may have arrested him. Yeah, before. exactly. <laughs> where do I know him from? So, okay. Yeah. So, I'm glad. That's an that we, awesome. Those are two yes, awesome target right? stories. There's more, but we could wait. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like that could be a whole podcast in itself. Target the yes behind the scenes or Target. Sorry, um, I've been hit with a bottle of 151 before. Did you get at least get like to drink? No, it, 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 but no, it hit my <laughs> wrist and it hit the ground, and shattered. Oh. Yeah, that asshole got away. <laughs> <laughs> That's yes. appropriate. Yes. That was appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> alcohol wasted. Time to drink my alcohol. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, um, there's another little piece that I wrote down here, but we'll we'll, uh, we'll pass through that. Um, also, the Notre Dame, uh, the the cathedral. Cathedral. Oh, yeah. It burned yeah. down. Uh, that was one of the things that happened. Did you hear? They can't. Um, they can't rebuild it the way it originally was because there's no longer trees big enough or long enough yeah, to, to rebuild the structure as it was that's in France. That's crazy. Aww. So I don't know if they'll, you know, they'll import trees or... Either way, it's not going to be... Did they find out what the cause original. was? I don't know. Uh, I have a little article right here. Um, it's from the New York Times. Oh, trustworthy. <laughs> yeah. You can always <laughs> trust the news. Uh-huh. Yeah, dude. But have uh, you seen okay. all the... The memes around that, but I hope Quasi got out safe. Oh <laughs> no! I wow. saw I saw something. It wasn't something funny. It was just kind of cool. They said um, in the middle, 
the one of the, the crosses cross, was the cross still, was still like, like it was correct. untouched. Yeah, yeah. It was untouched. It didn't fall. Oh, There's yeah, a lot I mean, of stories like, like that of churches burning down. So like a Bible yeah, like it, like it's all burnt around it, but just the cross remains. I'm like that's, that's crazy. Cool. So this happened on Monday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, on Monday. Um, this article came out. Today's the nineteenth. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So it came out today. It says. Uh, the architect who oversaw the design of the fire safety system at Notre Dame uh, acknowledged that officials had misjudged how quickly a flame would ignite and spread through the cathedral, resulting in a much more devastating blaze than they had anticipated. So, obviously, it, you know... It was lit, but yeah. it was a lit box. That shit yeah, was that's lit. I'm so <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Are you going to take it away this early I'm, again? G- okay. I'm getting ready to. <laughs> this is the third time. I'm sorry. Every that, time. Do I only get like, how, do I get 10? Is that like You're, 10 you're at episodes? six right there. Yeah, yeah, uh, exactly. Yeah. So I'm way over that limit. Um, the system was based on the assumption that if the cathedral ever caught fire, the ancient oak timbers in the attic would burn slowly, leaving ample time to fight the flames, said Benjamin Moten. Mountain. The architect who oversaw the fire protections. So obviously, um, so they weren't doing anything to prevent or yeah. deter, like a like a fire retardant or nothing. Like they didn't cover it with that. Yeah, they were just like, like hey, oh, fuck oak, it. oak doesn't burn very quickly. I so know. We'll have time I mean, to put it out. it's eight hundred and fifty year old oak. It's dry. dry. Exactly. Yeah, that's the so, problem. Uh, I have a couple little open tabs uh, in here for a couple little news stories. Uh, for 420, Ben and Jerry's is encouraging marijuana usage for a cause and free ice cream. On 420, <laughs> the day of the year that unofficially celebrates cannabis culture, uh, they should have just when all the stoners smoke a lot of pot. <laughs> ben and Jerry's is giving away free ice cream to people who buy pot. Yes, the Burlington so Vermont. So if I just go in there and say I buy pot, I'm gonna have ice cream. Um, I, I hope that that's what it says in about a second. Hold on. Uh, Vermont-based premium ice cream maker is encouraging its consumers to use marijuana, which is still illegal in 17 states. Before you go, line up the deal on its half-baked ice cream. <laughs> I, that's my favorite one. That's great. Uh, is only available in California, which was one of the fr- <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Fuck you all. Which is one of the first states to legalize the medical. Yeah, that's of the my cheat meal tomorrow. Boom. <laughs> if you oh, did- that is tomorrow, huh? Yeah, why well, smoke so? <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I I have been planning. And what's great is I just got the day off of work. I didn't have to ask for it off. It's because they probably know. Well, yeah. This, yeah, this guy's not fucking coming in, yeah. so. It's a giveaway. Yeah. 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 I just look at him. Really? <laughs> like, he asked me, he's like, do you think your parents know that I smoke? <laughs> <laughs> and I just said, they're not dumb. <laughs> Didn't they used to grow pot? <laughs> it was the 70s. Everyone was growing pot. Most people were Dude, fucking. I wasn't growing pot in the 70s. Well, yeah, because you were. You were alive. You were oh. a fucking thought. <laughs> <laughs> Def- yeah. Yeah, because awesome. you're younger than me. Right? Yeah, I was in 87. <laughs> you're, you're the baby in the room. If I was a thought in the 70s. What the fuck took so long? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, you explain a lot. You were the fucking. You're the fastest sperm, but still slow as fuck. Eh, whatever. <laughs> Do not Wait, push the button. No! <laughs> <laughs> you don't know me at all. Um. So wait, how do we get the free ice cream? That's what yeah. I want. That's what I'm trying to get to. Um, where is it? Specials for 420. Oh, no, that's pizza. Why are we have ads in this? This is gonna be a per day for my cheat day then. Yes, and we're gonna we're gonna hit up. Uh, you're, you're gonna have your first yeah. dispensary experience. I don't smoke, but I I eat weed. <laughs> oh, edibles. I want to get like a cookie or brownie or something tasty. Okay, I'm trying to look at where the deal is on this. It literally said earlier, like it if did? you say you smoke weed, yeah, or that's you what buy I- weed, you could have free ice. That's why I asked. Yeah, I, I, I'm trying to read it, but then I see... Here, if you move on to the next one, yeah, I'll, please, I'll look it up. Because that... <laughs> it got into some weird thing, and then the next, you know, tab is duck penis. Um, <laughs> we can delete that one. Yeah. Um, okay, that's all I had for the top news. So Sweet, now... Let's get into Here it. we go! Yeah, sorry, it's super late. So we decided... It is uh, 10.16 p.m. right now on Friday. 
um, and, while we're recording this. And we said, hey, um, James, uh, <laughs> can, can you want to come over at uh, six-ish? Yeah, you should have known, buddy. We are... Well, uh, so far, I'm still alive. Yeah, so thank stoner you, Mexican babe. time over here. That's that's what's going over going on with me. Oh, yeah. I don't know what your excuse is over there, babe. I married you. <laughs> so by default. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna have to yell at you like I yell at Gonzo. No, no. no. <laughs> Dip my head down real quick. Okay, so. Here we go with Marvel Phase 3. We start with Captain America Civil War. Oh, um, stop. Yes? I, I found the, the ice cream thing. Oh. It's just because a specific dispensary in oh. San Jose. Eh, fuck them. So you're probably going to have to receipt. <laughs> yeah, they said that um, with every order, you get a free <coughs> pint of ice cream. Mm. Oh, a coupon then, probably. And um, at Carl's Jr., Mm -hmm. you get a special $4.20 CBD burger. What? Yeah, they have they have CBD burgers now. I didn't know they did that. That's a little that's a little weird. No, right? Which Carl's Jr. is that? I think all Carl's Juniors in California are going to have them soon. Really? That's what I heard. Dude, I was excited that Del Taco was going to put avocado on their tacos. Del Taco is yeah. gross. It's better than Taco Bell. Oh, I disagree. What? Now, they have amazing what? crinkle cut fries, but their what? air quotes Mexican food is terrible. Is it Del Taco? Well, <laughs> yeah, it's fucking cheap food. What do you expect? Yeah, but, but it's I still better than Taco, Taco, Bell. Taco Bell. Highly disagree. Taco and, and I don't Bell. even really like Taco Bell. I just think you're you, just you, too... White. <laughs> I like Dude, how you, I like yeah, how you okay. started to Del look at Taco. me when you said that, and then you looked at her, and Wait. you're like, no, I gotta no. point this at Jen. Del Taco <laughs> serves hamburgers, and well, they're barely hamburgers, but... Doesn't your dad like them? He likes the burgers. I don't eat this podcast. I, like, their fries are amazing. They are good fries. But if you get, if fries. you get their, um, I think it's their carne asada fries... Which yeah, their carne asada is not that good. No, it no. sucks. The little, it does. The little and, soft, but like oh, chicken yeah. tacos, chicken soft tacos. Yeah, so, the, so like what I get is you know, you I get, get the tacos, bold, the value right? tacos. The but, soft yeah. shell? No, the hard shell. The value taco. It's like said I said. <coughs> it's a typical taco. Yeah. You know, and maybe I've never tried that. You can argue Taco Bell or Del Taco is better. I don't care. Um, I that's what I Quesarito, get from Del Taco. Uh, or um, a couple of their epic burritos, like today. <laughs> I got their surf and turf, so it's shrimp and, and their carne asada. You're very brave getting surf and turf from Del Taco. Yeah. Well, it's fried. Fish. No. It's fried. Why? Well, the like only, the only like, fish I'll get from, like, fast food. It has to be beer bag. It can't be. It has to be fried. Well, the only fish, like, substance I will get from, like, a fast food place is the fish fillet at McDonald's because oh, no, I don't be, touch no, McDonald's. the reason why is because I know going into it it's nowhere near real fish so I already know that I'm eating something that is not fish I don't why even get it well, well, taste, I think it's taste, hilarious taste, 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 that like McDonald's. <laughs> exactly. like, I think it's hilarious that McDonald's now advertises that they have like real meat. Alaska, or, oh yeah, real meat. I'm like, yeah. well, what was like, everyone what consuming before? Is that why they got like Yao Ming, who's like this like seven foot tall Asian dude? What didn't he live here? Didn't Yao Ming? Wasn't he from here, or was he from China? Where are we at? Well, now? I'm so confused. How that has to right deal now, with the, 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 the real McDon- meat? What does Yao Ming have to do with McDonald's? <laughs> I'm talking about like tall Asians. That's the, where the meat comes Asian. from now. Apparently, is Yao Ming meat eat Asian? Yeah, yeah, only, <laughs> like the, is that what you're no, saying? Just, <laughs> I know, that's what I got. I'm from saying that. that's why we have so like like tall, big people because no, of hormones. He's in not the, from America, I, dude. I don't know. Yao Ming is not from here. No, he just <laughs> plays American basketball. He's from like China, guys, right? You know, you, Ming is yeah, Dynasty. China. Wow, you <laughs> racist. <laughs> That's racist. Are Jeez. you all triggered now? <laughs> but yeah, this no, is the he's, fourth he's time not, on this podcast I'm triggered. He's not from America. He, he barely speaks fucking okay. English. Okay, well then what the fuck, China? 
You should have led with like I am genetic so disorders from McDonald's. <laughs> like, no. I mean, is that how we got Yao Ming? What? You're supposed to be <laughs> on my <laughs> way. You're supposed to be like, what like, the fuck you is going You guys are supposed to be like in my brains at the same time. <laughs> Your brain. I'm so yeah. confused. That's the I, plot. I have, I have more than one. <laughs> yeah. so that's what scares me about all fast food. Yeah, because... you really don't know. And that's the thing is Del Taco... Ground beef is mixed. It's soy and some beef. Now, isn't that the tacos from... Uh, Jack of the Box, yep. Yeah, aren't they supposed to be soy? They're soy. Yeah, not Del Taco. Del Taco is supposed to be all beef. Okay. But Every I like Jack of the Box tacos, too. Yeah. Every time I hear beef now, all but, I can think But I like the, their surf and turf, but their, one of their burritos, the Epic Burrito, is the... What is it called? Was it like Cal- it's carne asada. It's like a California, but yeah. like Chipotle, but it's beef, French fries, and their Chipotle sauce. Mm-hmm. It's really fucking good. Hmm. But, no, I like Del Taco. Yeah. But uh, Taco Bell's just. I think it's because I used to eat Taco Bell all the time with my dad. As Growing a kid. up, that's. Yeah, yeah Taco hey, Bell. Hey, yeah, but, I mean, uh, if you're constipated, Taco Bell. Go yeah, there. That's the thing is, I <laughs> I know how you Taco Bell. I'm going to be shitting myself. Yeah, exactly. That's what, new. that's what creeps me out. I was like, what the hell is in this food that's making me feel horrible? But then again, you can you can be like, okay, there's there's a lot of shit going on on Facebook right now. I need, I'm going to scroll through. I'm going to, now I can, I'm going to shit tonight. I know I have the yeah, time I, to I scroll through Facebook. I have the time to fucking scroll through Facebook. <laughs> it's like so that. So I'm going to eat some Taco you Bell. You posted and, something that yeah, exactly. was like. The dude holding up the toilet paper. You s- you scrolled long enough. <laughs> oh yeah, I saw that. <laughs> Time to wipe. <laughs> Time to wipe. Like, oh goddamn, man! My legs fall asleep sometimes because I'll be like leaning forward on my knees. <laughs> yeah, my and you, you get you the red rings. You, you get the red rings on your knees. I well, don't get you can, guys. You can get up, and but then all the blood rushes back, <laughs> and then you can't move. Like I'm yeah, trying to like, hold on to walls. Walls don't hold you up. Yeah, Not with dead legs. Yeah, exactly. It's <laughs> like. <laughs> Uh, it takes like those guys like just to walk out of the bathroom. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> yeah. yeah, so that's like what's walking. happening. We're just on. Where are the, we? Where are we supposed to be at right now? Where are we supposed to be talking about? Marvel. Marvel. Did we start? That How did we? We were about to, and then you said, "Oh yeah, you figured out." The, you figured oh, out. Oh, sorry. The ice cream no, thing. you're good. Segue. <laughs> And then Squirrel. we... Squirrel. All right. Marvel. Marvel. There we go. All right. Because we have plenty to go through. All right. So we're going to start Marvel Phase 3 off uh, with the first movie in that phase, Captain America Civil War. Uh, I believe it's the first Anthony uh, Anthony and Joe Russo movie in... No, they did Winter Soldier. Um, it's the first movie uh, in Phase 3, and I tend to like it. We're going to go with the synopsis first. Uh, Marvel's Captain America Civil War finds Steve Rogers leading the newly formed team of Avengers in their continued efforts to safeguard humanity. But after another incident involving the Avengers results in collateral damage, political pressure mounts to install a system of accountability headed by a governing body to oversee and direct the team. The new status quo fractures the Avengers, resulting in two camps, one led by Steve Rogers and his desire for the Avengers to remain free and to to remain free to defend humanity without government interference, and the other following Tony Stark's surprising decision to support government oversight and accountability. Um, So Team Cap, Team Iron Man was the whole little hashtag. Yeah, that's what they Uh, kept promoting. Yeah, Team Cap, Team Iron Man. Um, and the release date was April 27th, 2016, International, and May 6th, 2016, here in the States. Um, we have a lot of uh, characters in here. Uh, all your regular characters, uh, Chris Evans is Steve Rogers, Robert Downey Jr. is Tony Stark, uh, Scar- uh, Scarlett Johansson is Black Widow, uh, we have Sebastian Stan as Bucky Barnes, Anthony Mackie as The Falcon, uh, Don Cheadle as War Machine, Jeremy Renner as Hawkeye, Chadwick Boseman as T'Challa. He's introduced here. Uh, It's Black Panther, which we'll get into here in a minute. We have Paul Bettany as Vision, uh, Elizabeth Olsen as Scarlet Witch, Paul Rudd as Ant-Man, and Tom Holland decides to show up as Peter Parker as Spider-Man, which is pretty damn cool. It's his first first iteration uh, in this universe, which is pretty cool. And for some reason... Uh, we have still not gotten printer paper, printer ink, so I <laughs> cannot look at the. There we go. Box office for Civil War was one point one five three billion dollars. That's a lot. Yeah, a billion. 
It's a really? lot of scruples. Is that the term? Sure, why not? <laughs> oh, it's, it's double it's sided. Right. What a dick. Well, wow. that's you. Oh, I'm dumb. Cool. Um, <laughs> so, uh, my notes here are going to be a little sporadic as I was doing all this research. I'll before. cut you off. You're going you're gonna to cut me off? Yeah, I'll cut you off when, uh, when I'm getting mm-hmm. a little too, too much. Too yeah. Ranty. Okay. So, um, the Iron Man uh, and Captain America shot um, where Cap has his shield up and Iron Man's shooting while well, they're fighting at the end. It's him and... Uh, it's the two of them, and then uh, and Winter Soldier, yeah, it's an epic and they're fighting. Battle. Yeah, exactly. Like that one game. shot where Iron Man has both his hands out, and he's hitting the shield, and it's that big energy blast. Mm-hmm. It's like actually shot for shot. You saw yeah. it. It's shot for shot from the comics. Like it's literally him down on one knee, too, and everything is fucking cool. I think um, one big difference I noticed, yeah, uh, when you're looking it up, was in the comic, Iron Man did not have his his helmet on. But in the movie exactly. Yeah. Not that it really makes a difference. Yeah. It's just my two cents. Yeah. I noticed. But it, I'm I'm glad that you kind of sat in here and watched kind of a little bit of a research. Not you know trying to like you know we'll pet my back or anything. But like it you know it is kind of cool um, to see what kind of what goes into the little phase review stuff. I guess what we try and do for you guys. <laughs> No, no. This is what you guys were all doing when I was working out. Exactly. Yeah. Well, you're, you're little pounding on the floor. Burpees. It was yep. lots and lots of burpees. Yep. She's I've just got burping. like five burpees in me, and then I'm, my back hurts too much, and I'm done. I'm over it. The worst exercise in the world. Um, every time I hear burpee, I think of burping. So. Yeah, I'm not just sitting over there burping. <laughs> Um, okay, so uh, in the beginning of the movie, there's a there's a red book and there's like a there's a star on it. It's actually a call out to the Winter Soldier, um, so it, it kind of teases the rest of the movie, which is pretty cool. Um, and then Falcon has Red Wing in this movie. He has his little sidekick, yeah, his drone, his little drone, which actually in the uh, in the comics was a Falcon. But they uh, changed it. They retconned it here in the it MCU. Just, it makes more sense with oh, the yeah, technology with the high top, high and everything tech, yeah. in modern age. Exactly, it makes sense. Yeah, there, it would have been a little bit, a little bit too weird and way too much explanation into how the fuck does this dude just talk to fucking Falcons? Now? Yeah, I mean, especially in the, in the movie, he's just a <laughs> he can't guy. even beat I mean, Cap in a foot race. How is he talking yeah. to animals? He's a bird trainer. <laughs> This is fucking, uh, what's, what's that, uh, Cesar Milan? <laughs> the dog whisperer? Yeah, mm-hmm. he's the falcon whisperer. Yeah. <laughs> um, and in this, in this movie, it's the first appearance of T'Chaka and T'Challa. Uh, T'Chaka is the, um, leader of Wakanda, uh, which hasn't really been brought up too, I mean, it's been, like, teased a little bit. Sorry, not trying to play footsies with you. Uh, <laughs> James. Yeah, I'm staying quiet. You okay. brought that up. I just I yeah, I like, why would you admit that? I, yeah. <laughs> I ignored it. I want to let you guys in on everything that's <laughs> happening in the room here. Uh, Don't s- say anything else. Shh. My pants are off. <laughs> God damn it. So, uh, it's like, dang it, what button can I push for that? <laughs> 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 Um, I'm I'm trying to put the papers over the sound machine so I can't see that it's on the table because I will want to push a button. Thank you. Um, so T'Chaka is to is T'Challa's um, father, who is, they're the the king and prince of Wakanda, uh, and T'Challa ends up being the Black Panther, which we see later, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Um, T'Chaka ends up dying because uh, what everyone thinks is a Winter Soldier um, who kill, murders him ends up being Helmet Zemo uh, as a distraction. So, uh, who's Helmet Zemo is the prota- antagonist? Protagonist? Did we go over this before? Yeah, you did. Literally on the Marvel. Well, you did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, you were you boning up for the okay. antagonist is the bad guy. Is the bad guy cool? Thank you so much. <laughs> Glad. Anti antagonist. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, so Ant Man and Ho- when they're in the big battle scene um, at the very end, when it's you know both teams against each other, Ant Man, uh, what well, where Hawkeye is holding out his arrow and Ant Man's on the, he's like a tiny and he's on the arrow. He's come on, bow and arrow guy or whatever. <laughs> so it's like yeah, so. Whatever he says. Yeah, so, uh, he's hanging on to it. It's actually 
like on the front cover of one of the comics, which is pretty cool. Like, you know, it, but it's back when Hawkeye was in a purple suit and Ant Man was in this like bright, you know, bright, bright red suit. So it was, it was kind of cheese ball, but it was pretty cool. Uh, let me see. Um, hmm. Oh yeah. So when Cap, uh, when Cap throws his shield down at the very end uh, in, during that fight scene. Uh, between the three of them, between Cap and Iron Man and, and Bucky, um, when he throws his shield down, it's actually a nod to the comics and the character Nomad. Uh, Captain America actually didn't have, uh, like, threw his shield down. It was after Civil War in the comics, and he basically became the character Nomad, where he didn't have a country. He was in Captain America. You know what I mean? So it's kind of cool little things here and there. Um, uh, when uh, Sergeant. Ross, is it Sergeant Ross or General Ross, the you know big military guy? When he's talking about um, probably a general, I don't think he's sergeant. Yeah, I was, was, yeah. Was, yeah. glad you're here. Thank you for that. <laughs> yeah, you know whatever I could do. Try <laughs> <laughs> get my beard. Um, so uh, when he's when he's talking to everyone about the Sokovia Accords and basically why. Uh, why they're why the teams kind of split because there's this you know law with all the nations. Um, he's talking about he's basically giving them an excuse of where where Thor and Banner are because they're they, they're gone. So and no one knows where they are. And he basically says they're basically like nuclear missiles. You know what I mean? Like if what happened if we just lost a couple nuclear missiles, people would probably be pissed off at us. So I can understand that that you know. But what's cool is it's a call out to Ragnarok, which happens soon because they're lost, you know, in space. So it's all going on during all this. Um, let me see. Um, yeah, so the po- the post credit scene that was in Ant-Man um, from the last from phase 2 is actually a scene here in Civil War. It's where um, Bucky is all caught in the little vice uh, and uh, I think that's pretty cool. Uh the when he when they're in that last fight scene, um, and Iron Man keeps fucking hitting them. They're keep they're fighting, and he says that I can do this all day. Yeah, that's in every single Captain America movie, which I thought was kind of cool that they brought that back, and it's you know kind of a running reoccurring. Yeah. yeah, exactly. It kind of joined them all together. Um, uh, what do we? I you know the movie like. Just a couple things on the side note, like yeah, that movie to me um, probably wasn't like my favorite one. Yeah, only because you see like all the superheroes get pissed off and hate each other. other. You're like, well, what the fuck is gonna happen now? Yeah, you know, the Avengers are breaking up. But on the same note, as a conspiracy theorist, (laughs) exactly, you have the registration of. Of superheroes, right? Exactly. Or a registration of weapons. Exactly. So, you know, with that being in mind, you just like, okay, well, is just like <laughs> you talked in Captain Marvel, yeah. you got that whole feminist movement and exactly. stuff like that. So, are we trying to get people to be okay with, you know, there's a lot of people who literally watch a movie and they're like, that's it. That's the truth. That's how it's going to exactly. be. Exactly. Yeah. So we're going to have to register all our superheroes. Okay. Or so registration let's... is going to become a normal thing of human beings. Now, yeah, we all get registration on our vehicles and license yeah, exactly. and stuff like that. And you know, yeah, we we know that kind of stuff. But you got those pro, you know, two way like myself. I'm I'm a gun guy. Yeah. I. Don't, don't want to register ever, my weapons yeah. if I don't have to. Like exactly. I get it if I. If you're going to register my weapons when I buy it, that's one thing. Exactly. I want it. That's a prerequisite. Tough shit. It's the state I live in. But if I already own the weapon based off of the laws at that time, you're not getting Mm. me to come through somewhere. It's kind of like a grandfather. Grandfathered in. Yeah. 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 That makes sense. I'm not showing up. Yeah, he showed up. Can I reg- can yeah. I register these weapons? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my left and right <laughs> with these Jack Johnson Hell and Tom Leary, right? Cannons. Wow. Uh, so, anyways, okay. I, well, you as you're that, saying that's this, how too, I see it too. It, the release date was May 6, twenty sixteen, and there's also a big divide in the country of America at that point too. So it kind of almost represented what was going on. In real life, too. What was with, the divide? 
uh, uh, politically, very, very politically, because it was the 2016 election. It was Trump and, and Clinton. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I'm not going to get deep into that, but there was a... And there's, there still is. There still is. I'm, I'm not, I'm not saying was. Two fucking years later, he's not my... Yeah, he's your fucking president. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Exactly. When Obama was president, I was like, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> but... I was in the service at that time. Yeah, he's my fucking president. Yeah, but yep. you still, you still, you know, wanted the That's country at yeah. least, at least to prosper. But we're gonna not get into that because that could go down a whole fucking. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah. So, you just drink that Bud Light. I'm gonna drink some of this whiskey. I'm almost done with my whiskey, and I'm done with this. So we might have to uh, take a break earlier than we thought. Um, so what's cool about this also is this is the first appearance of Spider-Man um, in Spider-Man. Civil War, which Spider-Man. was awesome for a lot of reasons, because this is when we started realizing, oh, shit, Fox is allowing Marvel to have all these characters in the MCU, which that means X-Men, Deadpool, fucking Fantastic Four, all I'm this shit. Wolverine. Yeah, and Wolverine I'm waiting to see like if it's going to be Hugh Jackman or if it's going to be someone different. I, you know, I've seen mm. screenshots online, uh-huh. and it fucking looks like Hugh Jackman, man. He's not in, like, his he's, normal Wolverine He's getting outfit. up there, though. <laughs> yeah, but still, he looked pretty fucking old in Logan, too. Yeah, he, um, yeah. That's why I'm, I don't know if they would... But I mean, we. But who else? Okay, who else would play him? We just saw CGI. Nobody. Who else could fucking play? I mean, I could play Hugh Jackman. Oh wait. Okay. But no. What so I'm, just keep that in mind. What? <laughs> just bring what in I, the I'm dude that plays is, Aquaman. What? Jason Momoa. You know, he just shaved his beard off, right? I don't like him anymore. For what? There's picture. I don't know. He just did it. I, I saw a picture. He looks kind of funky. Um, <laughs> He's but a weird looking dude. Uh, what? That's why you had a fucking beard. <laughs> He's got four chins. <laughs> I feel your pain. Bro. That's why my scraggly, shitty beard. Um, so the th- the cool thing about uh, Spider Man being in this was uh, uh, was obviously you know the fo- you know Fox and all that, mm-hmm. but um, the, the look to his to his outfit when he first popped up. With the uh, when the eyes squinted, you know when he kind of uh, like, yeah, yeah. hey, yeah. how you doing? And he like grabs Cap's shield and like lands. Mm-hmm. Like you see his eyes kind of squint down, like like the comics. Like yeah, it, like, you can yeah, see him you draw thinking. a cartoon. Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, with fucking uh, what's his name, Tobey Maguire, and then the, there was no, know, the there was no. Uh, emo- I mean, yeah, for somebody really who's see. all you see is talking, there's no emotion. And yeah. the eyes play a lot. I mean, exactly. I can look at you and, and make an emotion with my eyes. Like I yeah. can. Exact dog like you if with I, my face if I literally say anything. You know, block your mouth yeah, while can, you're talking. I can I still can see what, yeah. kind of feel what you're trying to exactly. imply with just yeah. your eyes. So I mean, yeah, I didn't know. I didn't notice that they didn't do that. In your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we've had alcohol, guys. Um, He's so. got some weird eyebrows. Sorry, I looked him up. She's all, I'm done hearing them. I'm gonna look up <laughs> fucking eyebrows. So that's beardless talking? Momoa. Oh, yeah, no, he, yeah, but see, you never notice his all... eyebrows until they cut off his beard. Well, no, I always say he had some wacky eyebrows. He's Samoan, right? Mm, no. I think he's Samoan. Mimosa, is, he? Mimo- is this Samoan spelled backwards? Mimosa? No, it's just a drink. I think Mimosa! You said, like, I think you said, like, Mimoa. seven different words just now. Oh, wait, no, it's not the Girl Scout cookie. Samoa. Samoa is a Girl Scout cookie. Oh, they stopped Mimoa. calling them that, though. What are they called? They're native. called Coconut Delights now. Native, native Islander cookies? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can't call them that anymore, apparently. On the cookie sheet, they were called Coconut Delights. Oh, whatever. So we can't like say afternoon Samoa, delight, we can't but say you can midget. have a coconut delight for your afternoon delight. Hey, what are those one nuts that. <laughs> that can we still call them those? Oh, what, no. Nuts? They've never been formally called those. I always thought they were. You know what I'm talking about. No, right? I Brazil know. Nuts. Brazil, yeah, yeah. Toes. <laughs> Sorry, that's what they were called. No, dude, no, I, that's what they were called. That's what they're called. Okay, probably as Brazilian nuts. It's gonna be a look. <laughs> that's what they're called. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> Okay. Okay. There's gonna be. Yeah, a bleep. sure we were on the same page. Here. I'm so glad that there's a bleep. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what? Oh you have to bleep God. that out? Yes. Oh man. Yeah. But I can 
can say fuck, right? Yeah, yeah, you're good. You're good on everything else. You just can't say the <laughs> N-word. Is, is that like a... I like think it's just podcast a podcast it's, it's, rule. No, it's just a, a cultural thing. I figure we it's are just in not. The, we are in the worst, like, I'm politically correct. Right I know. I'm triggered. I'm sorry. You're not good. really. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's fucking hilarious because you guys had to have known it was coming. I was like, that, no, that I word? Think that word? And he's like, Brazil that nuts? word. I'm like, yeah, you mean <laughs> zip toes? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. But no, there, there's... Yeah, I didn't want to... Yeah, two bleeps is too much. Wow. Okay, thank you. <laughs> yes, but so, th- those So the have... Stanley cameo in Civil War... <laughs> we switched from nuts to the cameo. Hey, don't ever talk about Jerry rigging anything. Yes. Or, you know, <laughs> Ding Dong Dish. Um, you, you didn't know that was a... You I've know, never heard that okay, one. Okay, we're, we're I'm really that confused now. Never mind. Do you okay. see another... In word words, yeah. J rig is also called in rig. Really? That? Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. It's it's. But I don't know the ding dong ditch one. It was ding dong. In knocking. Yeah. Oh, never what? Heard that yeah, I this have heard this conversation. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Thanks, Ed. Well, it's because I triggered you. So sorry. Yeah. What? Come and knock on my door. That's a great show. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. We've been waiting moment. for you. Wow. Okay. So. <laughs> so Stanley. <laughs> so cameo, Stanley that cameo. cameo was the FedEx driver asking for Tony Stank. Tony yeah. Stank? Stank. Yeah. Yeah, and then Stank. Don Cheadle says, Don Cheadle says, thank, thank you. Thank you for that. Thank yeah. you. Because <laughs> I'm going to call you Tony Stank forever. Yeah. Yes. Table. Tony Stank. Table for two. <laughs> Okay, so you got the post credit scene? Yeah, so... Uh, I don't know if guys, I should allow you to if you, talk anymore. I'm reading. Really, I'm you know, like never read about everything. Jesus. So, uh, if you stayed long enough <laughs> during the credits... <laughs> yes, we have gotten one movie <laughs> yeah. in and everyone stopped listening. Uh, mid-credit, the mid-credit scene for Captain America Civil War is foreshadowing the Black Panther movie with Steve Rogers watching Bucky Barnes go into the Kratosis... And he thanks T'Challa, who has granted him asylum in Wakanda until a cure for Barnes's mental programming can be found. So that kind of leads into the whole like Black yeah. Panther becoming more and more relevant. Yeah, you start seeing a little more technology, um, a little more shit. Like and then that. further on through the credits towards the end, uh, there's another credit scene uh, foreshadowing Spider-Man Homecoming, which I actually, I really liked that movie. It was really good. Uh, Peter Parker... Rests on his bed as Aunt May inquires about his black eye. As soon as she leaves the room, he pulls out the magazine and continues to service himself. No, I'm sorry, that's not on there. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I'm sorry. That I don't was not on there. This. That was the post, post, post credits. <laughs> so as soon as uh, as soon as Aunt May leaves the room, Peter inspects his web shooters and watches as he admits. <laughs> A spider shaped yeah, symbol. He was totally shooters. fucking whacking it. That was <laughs> on the on the ceiling. So it kind of leads into okay, he's got more gadgets than yeah. what we saw. And you see him like, oh, this is awesome like, because it's a suit. It's yeah, the it's a suit. Yeah, it's, it's the crazy from, technology yeah, in that suit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> Doctor <laughs> Doctor Strange. Um, wow. Okay, I need to like. I'm still laughing. I'm still... No, oh, that was great. Um, so, Doctor Strange, the synopsis on this one. Uh, from Marvel uh, comes... From Marvel comes Doctor Strange. Uh, I think that meant to be from Marvel Comics comes Doctor Strange. The story of the word uh, famous... Um, oh, the story of the world-famous neurologist or neurosurgeon, Doctor Stephen Strange, whose life changes forever after a horrific car accident, robs him of the use of his hands. Yeah, he's he's like he's like in scary movie too. Yeah, like it, 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 Chris Elliott took my, my strong hair, John. Take it off. Oh my god! <laughs> he's a, I like the bass. I just get my hair. Yeah. Right <laughs> <laughs> it was so wrong. <laughs> so wrong. When traditional medicine fails him, he is forced to look for healing and hope in an unlikely place. A mysterious enclave, enclave known as Kamartage, Car- 
He quickly learns that this is not just a center for healing, but also the front line of a battle against unseen dark forces bent on destroying our reality. <laughs> I saw you about to do that. <laughs> Before long, Strange, armed with newly acquired magical powers, is forced to choose whether to return his to his life of fortune and status or leave it all behind <coughs> to defend the world as the most powerful sorcerer in existence. Um, he basically becomes David Blaine. Uh, <laughs> that was that was my own little no, not a good joke. No, no we just get that one again. Okay. Cool. <laughs> The release date, uh, October 25th, 2016, International, <laughs> November 4th, 2016, in the U.S. My voice cracked. Sorry, guys. Hey. We have Benedict Cumbersnatch uh, as Stephen Str- Stephen Strange. <laughs> Cucumber Snatch? Yes. Ben- it's it's not <laughs> Cumber Snatch? It, it's not. Oh, cum- Cumberbatch. Okay. Yeah. As Stephen Strange, Cucumber Doctor Batch. Stay- Strange, <laughs> and he actually did the voice for Dormammu, which I did not know until today. Um, Carl, uh, Master Carl, Carl, Carl. <laughs> Mordo uh, is. I'm gonna horribly pronounce this. Chiwetel. Ch- e E G O for. Yeah, close enough. No, no, no. no. Yo, you, yeah, you need... And you're next. Chiwetel E. Jofer. Uh-huh. Right? I'm hearing Chipoodle. That's the second, <laughs> second one down on the... See where it's saying the list. Oh, this yeah, one? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's Chi, as in, like, Chi flat iron. Like Chi. <laughs> or Chai. Chi. Chi. Chi Weddle. Chi Weddle. Chi Weddle, that's it. And then... Chai tea. The J is silent. Like in Mjolnir. Like yeah. Mew Mew. Or what so about Bjorn? That's just like Bjorn? E4. But it could be... She Weddle E4. That's all it is. That's, okay, that's what, what we're it's going for. Like a J like like <laughs> Bjorn that's pronounced with a Y as a Y. Bjorn. Eo4. Eo4. It could be Eo4. Cool. The we're going to get a negative comment from him. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> you motherfuckers. Like, What? You talk like that? Yeah, 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 exactly. That's you talk like what? that? <laughs> so, next is uh, Rachel McAdams as Dr. Christine Palmer. That one was easy to pronounce. Yeah. Um, wow. I didn't... Okay. Remember how I was telling you that Dr. Strange's... Uh, Dr. Strange's little sidekick was Wong? Uh-huh. Remember? Yes, yes. His oh. real name it's is Wong. Benedict Wong. Oh, um, real? Uh, like real in real life. That's so they cool. casted him perfectly. Uh, Mads Mickelson is Master Caecilius. He's an amazing actor. He did a really good job in this one. Uh, Tilda Swinton as the Ancient One. I thought it was it was pretty cool. But she kind of looked like one of those like hairless cats. Ew. It was like really wrinkly ones. She uh, wasn't yeah. wrinkly or anything, my... but she just had the the pale... You know, I don't know. That was Dude, my, like my best friend... Uh, Aaron, Aaron, my, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> he's like a kid. He's not a kid. Don't worry, guys. We'll he, never he has have a hairless cat. Back. It's okay. He's never coming back. Oh he's wait, a cat. did <laughs> somebody like post something on yeah, Facebook? I did. Yeah, with the uh, no with the eyes. eyeless, the eyeless, hairless cat, and I tagged him and his family yeah, no, and everything. That's, Creepy, right? Thank you. I, I literally like thought that was a statue. I didn't realize that was a real no, living a real creature. Fucking cat. Google it. Eyeless, hairless cat. cat. It's it's, it's a terrible it's combination. Stuff of nightmares. No, a terrible yeah. combination would be eyeless, dickless, hairless cat. <laughs> it's a scary I, combination. Really? Can you imagine waking up to? Who did you think you invited? And think it's a cute little furry cat, <laughs> and it's. Yeah, I mean that's crazy. Uh uh-uh. uh. Like yeah, that's like no, like what if you're like petting. Like on the head, and it moves, and you accidentally like I gouge it. Yeah, and I gouge it. There's well, no, no you actually just fish hook it by accident because that's just how you're fi- you're just petting the cat, and it goes for it. Yeah, just, it's like the socket. I would never like the be able to sunk into the socket because there's no eyeball. It's creepy. Okay, so okay, enough talk gonna, about yeah, yeah, we're gonna hairless. Get, talk about anything. Cats. And nothing. No hairless. hairless anything. Okay, so this the box office did six hundred and seventy seven point seven million dollars. Which not one of the better ones, but it it was kind of an obscure one. I'll definitely say not too many people have seen it, especially Nick Wright. Um, 
I don't think Nick Wright has seen any of these. Yeah, he said, oh, yeah, Guardians. <laughs> he lied. Yeah. We yeah. should have quizzed him. We should have, because I doubt he even saw that one. I think he just said yeah to that because okay. it's a popular one. Yeah. Okay. Everyone's so, seen well, those we're gonna movies. Do, we're going to have a conversation after this podcast over because I don't want, I don't want, oh, you know what? Nick's not even going to listen to this one, so it's good. Um, <laughs> we're going to, we're going to, we're going to have, write up a little pop quiz for next time he's on here. We're going to ask him some Avengers things. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. You ask him throughout the entire. Oh yeah. We're going to give him just all. I'm not going to tell him what phase, what movie, no, I'm tell him what phase. No, I'm just going to be like, yeah. what's this? Sounds good. Are, okay. are, 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 does Drax have sensitive nipples? Mm-hmm. True or false? Because yeah, that's the movie that you saw. He's exactly. made Drax is even a character on the show. <laughs> Who's Trick Drax? question. Who's Drax? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> uh, I don't know. You can't see him. No, funny joke. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Cool. Hmm. Um, so let's see the multiverse is actually introduced in this movie which is pretty cool because it brings up a lot of it brings up a lot of answers a lot of questions from what has happened before and what's about to happen in these movies um the staff of the living tribunal when uh, dr strange is like fighting you know and they're learning how to fight outside and whatever um M- mordo is training him and has the staff of the living tribunal and uh it's act- in the comics. It's actually a being, like a a, a being that uh, maintains the balance over the entire multiverse. So it's actually a lot of uh, a lot more than just being the power and just a little bow staff or something. So it might be they might be able to uh, evolve that uh, throughout the next couple of movies. Um, the device that locks up Caecilius when they're having the fight and whatever, and it kind of like straps it him wraps. down. It wraps around him and straps down. It's actually called the Crimson Bands of Chitterac, which I had to look up the spelling. <laughs> um, but it, yeah, it's, it's pretty good way to pause pause some videos and, and check that out. Um, the CGI effects that were like super, uh, uh, what's that fucking Inception? The, the movie with Leonardo uh, yeah, I, know. I actually the, the never saw that movie. The buildings are like folding in on each other, yeah. flipping yeah. over. Like, yeah, it's crazy. Well, you've seen Doctor Strange, right? Yeah. So you remember how like, they're falling and all the buildings are flipping and like, yeah, it's all, it's super all the same stuff. Inception, Inception yeah, was a lot thing. like that, um, but uh, it was Leonardo DiCaprio and Joseph Gordon-Levitt and a couple other people. It was pretty good. But, um, yeah, the influence for the CGI effects in Doctor Strange in this movie, to me personally, looked a lot like that. But it was um, developed or it was influenced by M.C. Escher, um, the artist who does all those weird the stairs. And it's like all angles. You know, the stairs are kind of well, the leading. The stairs up. are infinite stairs. Yeah, it's they like lead into anything. Stairs they lead yeah. into. I hate those. Really? <laughs> I think they're cool. Uh, whatever. Um, so the time loop um, with Dora Mamu, the big uh, master or whatever, was actually a call out to Groundhog Day uh, with Bill Murray. The director said it was literally like that was what he was trying to do. The reason why is because the car crash that happened where he loses his hands mm-hmm. in the Marvel Universe took place on February 2nd, which is Groundhog Day. So gotcha. there's a theory among a lot of nerds that say that uh, Doctor Strange, that this is just one, it, like it was one big time loop because it was Groundhog Day. And then when he defeated Dormammu, it ended the time loop. It's okay. kind of cool. Kind of crazy. Um, Stan Lee's cameo on this one is uh, he's on the bus during the Mirror Dimension fight. Uh, and uh, he's reading like he's reading a book. And uh, it's when Doctor Strange falls and hits the glass. And he's just standing there and he kind of like, hmm, like looks. No. Hmm. Sorry, I got distracted by your Big Bang New York party and the glitterous. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, that's, uh, that's Barbarella. That's, uh, that's the old bar I used to work at in Austin. We had Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, it was, it was good stuff. Um, <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> No, no, you're good. You're good. I think I lost both of you on that one. Sorry. Sorry. Um, So the post credit scene on this one, um, I actually have it written down, so you don't have to. You're good. Oh, okay, good. Like, wait, what? The the post credit scene in this one is uh, actually a scene that's in Thor Ragnarok. 
Um, it was directed by Taika Watiti, who's the director of, I know that's a fun name, um, director of Rat- Thor Ragnarok. He, he quickly tried to get the scene together um, so he could have it placed in the movie, but it was Doctor Strange and Thor sitting across from each other. It's when Thor has his refilling beer mug. It's that mm. whole scene where they're talking about, you know, the location of Loki and, you know, and all this and whatnot. Or the location of Odin, actually. Sorry. Um, so, that's uh, two movies down. We're going to go Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Yeah. And these, I'm sure, are by far, like, the most watched and favorite of all the Marvel movies. That's why Nick like, says that, he's yeah. seen them. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like, people... There's there's people like like myself. I like the Marvel movies. Yeah, I don't even remember if I've seen any of them yeah. in theater, but I've seen them. Yeah, like Black Panther. I waited until it was on Netflix. Yeah, exactly. Ragnarok. It was on Netflix. Yeah, but I've seen them. I like I like the comics, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. So, but actually, I think I may have seen this one. In the theaters. In the theater. At least rented it before it came from... I paid for it. You actually paid for it. <laughs> I paid for uh, it. <laughs> both of them I saw at it was home. DVD. At home, yeah. But yeah. I think, honestly, the only ones that I've actually went out to theater... Because I, I, me, personally, I like staying at home and watching a movie at home. Yeah. You know, it was just kind of chill like, and whatever. Yeah. But the, the Infinity War and... Endgame, those two, right? And then Captain Marvel too, because I I thought Captain Marvel was going to be a really good, you know, like like I, I mean it is. It's a okay. We're you know I'm getting too far ahead of this phase three right now. Yeah. But, um, yeah, but these these movies leading up, they're just they're they're big hits, you know, in the in the MCU. So that's why I kind of want to go out and see those, and that's why we got you and Candace coming. Uh, yeah, we'll be next Saturday. Party. Um, so, we're going to get into Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. The release date was April 25th, uh, 2017 International, and May 5th, 2017 in the U.S. Uh, the synopsis set to the backdrop of awesome mixtape number two. Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 continues the team's adventures as they traverse the outer reaches of the cosmos. The Guardians must fight to keep their newfound family together as they unravel the mysteries of Peter Quill's true per, uh, parentage. Uh, old foes become new allies and fan-favorite characters from the classic comics will come to our hero's aid as the MCU continues to expand. So, we have uh, Chris Pratt back as uh, Star-Lord, Zoe Saldana as Gamora, Dave Bautista as Drax, Vin Diesel as Groot, or Baby Groot in this one. <laughs> Um, Bradley Cooper as Rocket, uh, Palm Clementius as Mantis. Oh, uh, sorry, struggled through that one. Michael Rooker is back as Yondu. Karen Gillian is Nebula, and Sean Gunn is Craglin. Um, and actually, he did Rocket Raccoon's motion capture. In this one. And he's the one from Gilmore he's Girls. He's the one from Gilmore Girls. Yes, babe. Yes, he is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, so where is this? No, I'm losing it. There we go. Oh, and Kurt Russell is Ego. I have double-sided pages. I'm just oh, throw those right. over there. Get all mixed up. Okay, so the box office did 863.8 million. So pretty good. Almost at that billion mark. Um, Almost at that what? Billion. billion mark. They did how much? 863.8 okay. million. I just heard 63. I was like, bro. You need to go back to school. <laughs> yeah. Not even close. But yeah, no, yeah. Just 200. You need to go back to school. Just 200 bro. Mil. Fifth time I'm triggered. Um, so Ego's plan is actually set at the beginning of the movie when, when he's talking to, um, I think it's Meredith Quill, uh, Peter Quill's mom. Yeah, when he's mom. Yeah, when, when they're about to fuck. And he's telling her, basically, he... Just doing this all over the cosmos. He, she probably thinks he's just you know, some you know, crazy very, dude, some crazy dude in the seventies. Like but, okay, yeah, she's like, hmm. I like your car. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he did have a cool car. <laughs> what I thought was really cool is this movie was James Gunn's way of uh, a direct answer for why Star Lord can touch the Infinity Stone in the mm. first one. Yeah, so it was immediately like 
okay, here, this was this crazy ending, now we're going to answer it immediately, which I think was cool as being a viewer. You know? Partly a fucking guy. Yeah, exactly. Um, the Drax's sensitive nipples thing is <laughs> just great. I just think that's fucking funny because he's such a big dude. Like, oh, my nipples are yeah. sensitive. <laughs> um, and then uh, when Groot, when Baby Groot dances in the very beginning, in the very first scene... Um, I think it's... All the uh, destruction around him. Yeah. It was I, good, man. That whole movie was just awesome. Yeah. I'm, James Gunn is an awesome director. He's great. The first one was great. second one was great. And I can't wait for the fucking third one. But, um, yeah, the, it's the same. Groot dancing in the first one is actually the same like in the first movie where Star-Lord's dancing by himself while a bunch of, you know, shit's going on. It's like kind of the same mm-hmm. thing. So it was kind of cool they did that. Um... I thought it was kind of funny how Drax had the world separated into dancers and not dancers. I thought that was a funny. I didn't know that until today. Yeah, that, yeah. that he that he because because Star Lord he the, he basically the way that comes up is he doesn't like dancers. Well, he and doesn't that's like, why Groot like stop. will stop I, dancing exactly, exactly when he, he turns and looks at him because he doesn't want Drax to think less of him and think that he's the, like not a strong. He's in the dancing uh, group. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So he stops. <laughs> what I does that mean? It was hilarious that he would like he would stop. Uh-huh. Yeah, I was just like he's like trying to fake him out. Awesome. He's like, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, but it was. Like, no, he wasn't. It, it, yeah, I didn't know that. I never saw that. Like I never picked up on that. That's what we're here for, bud? We're trying to learn you that. something. Thank you, sir. Mm-hmm. It's or, ma'am. sorry, ma'am. It's ma'am. Yeah. Um, ma'am. All the uh, all the the names that. Uh, Rocket gets called in this. There's, yeah. there's a puppy, rat, triangle-faced monkey, which... Trash panda. Yeah, yeah, trash panda's my favorite. <laughs> but it was funny when the triangle-faced monkey, monkey. He, 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 like... Yeah, starts grabbing his... <laughs> yeah, grabs his face. Like, 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 what's like, wrong with my face? He's all self-conscious about it. It's kind of funny. Um, so, uh, one thing that was kind of cool, too, is Ego's ship, uh, ship looks like an egg. If you actually look at it, it's that white, and it yeah. has a little yellow thing. It looks like a yolk. So it's kind of like biological imagery. Hmm. Is, I, now, see. now I want an egg. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm kind of hungry now, actually. So uh, Howard the Duck is actually in this one again, which is, yep. which is hilarious. See, I'm not familiar with Howard the Duck. It's not yeah. a kid's movie. No. But is it's that a, a movie it's a from like character? You know that, right? I didn't know that. Yeah, it was a Mar- it, he's written Howard as a Marvel the Duck comic. actually is. Yeah, I didn't know that. But there was like his own movie. Yeah, like, well, it was back like in the eighties, like yeah, late eighties, early nineties. Yeah. <laughs> um, so the uh, the song that Ego is whistling uh, around the middle of the movie is actually uh, "Brandy, You're a Fine Girl." It's the same song that, that they're hearing when uh, when they're driving in the car with his mom. So it's kind of cool because it's right before he like unveils his kind of plan to Star Lord. So it's kind of like a hey, I'm gonna start trying to play this role now. Like it it's a callback, which is kinda of cool. I, I like how they did that. Um the uh I thought it was cool that the same actor from uh Sons of Anarchy, the guy with the Chelsea smile. Oh, the yeah, Irish yeah. guy, he's in this movie. Yeah. Hey Chelsea smile. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You have the sound machine, so you're the one who's supposed to, you know, pushing. Mm, there's... They need better pictures. I think you just <laughs> need less whiskey. Never. <laughs> um, so, I thought it was great that uh, when Groot was uh, bringing ba- kept bringing back the wrong things to... Oh, yeah, uh, that was hilarious. ...to Yondu. Like this? Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> but I thought it was kind of funny that he brought back an eyeball, too, because remember in the first one how Rocket kept saying, I, I need that guy's eye. Oh, yeah. And he's like, why do you need it? I just I just want it. Well, he, I mean, he laughed because he's like, well, it's like really important. And yeah. he just like yeah. snickers. Wait, yeah. now, isn't that the same eyeball that they give to... Thor, Thor in and he pops War. it in his head. Is it? And he yeah, pops it in his he eye. pops it in his head, and it that's is. where uh, he's says, like, "Oh, the only way that I was able to get it out was, you know, I had to." He's like, "I would have washed that." <laughs> yeah, exactly. and what's great is if you watch teen teenage Groot in that one, you could see him like. <laughs> like, like with this big grin, like you're gonna shove that ass eyeball in your fucking eye, like head right now. Uh, like, this teenager, like, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> um, 
speaking of a fucking teenager, yeah, he's way older than a teenager in Dog Gonzo? Years. Gonzo's, Gonzo's, yeah. Gonzo's, yeah. He's Gonzo's are he's, he's the old oldest. man. He's a senior. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, I can't the get right up. Brain. He's a fucking asshole. Um, the whole taser face gag. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. right. He's like, wait, wait. You were thinking up names, and you thought Taser Face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's a badass name. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, I would understand if you had, like, something, something coming out of your face, but... Um, so what's kind of cool too is when they're passing through all those uh, universes when they push you know, push a little button it's Rocket yeah. and Yondu and Sean Gun or Craglin I guess and they're passing through all those things they pass through uh, the Cronin world which is actually where the Korgs are from the one in Thor Ragnarok the, the, the rock big rock people. dude yeah so that was kind of a cool little little shout out there and then they um, also one of the other ones they pass through is where. That is where the Stan Lee cameo is from, and it's um, that was in the, the, the watcher end credits. Yeah, uh, was it in the end credits? Is it? Uh, they the, waited all the way to the end credits to, to have, to have Stan Lee. Yeah, that was that was uh, when the watchers when the are walking watchers, away the from their, yeah. their quote informant. Yeah, as he's trying to tell them, like, implore them to stay and listen to my my yeah. adventures. Yeah, that's where he tells them. Yeah. He's like, yeah. oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So basically, yeah. And, and in there, he's talking about how he was a FedEx guy. And so it's a callback to Civil War. It's kind of funny. And there's a theory, actually, that Stan Lee is the watcher. Yeah, he's actually I've heard that one. Like, he's, he's actually in, from the comics. He, it, was a, it was a person who watched over all of everything. And that's kind of cool because it's Stan Lee and he's the creator of Marvel. Yeah. I really like that. Yeah. So, anyways, you can get all teary eyed. Um, no, nope, not me. I'm just gonna drink my beer. Um, so when Groot and, and when Rocket's trying to tell Groot to push the button and all that, <laughs> this I am Groot. I am Groot. I am no. Groot. No, <laughs> that whole scene right there. What's kind of cool is in the background you see uh, Star Lord fighting through the little hole. You know, there, there's a whole battle scene going on or whatever, mm-hmm. and it's the same thing as in the beginning of the movie where Groot is dancing and there's this whole battle scene going on in the background. But it's it's mainly focused on this one singular little scene. But there's still crazy shit going on. Yeah. I, I thought that was kind of cool how they made that kind of a theme in the movie. Um, also, um, like I brought up. Uh, before on the last one was the Mary Poppins the quote from Yondu when he's like <laughs> you look like Mary Poppins is Mary Poppins cool? yep I'm Mary Poppins y'all <laughs> <laughs> that was great um, and uh, the, uh, when he turns into when Star-Lord turns into Pac-Man uh, during the fight with Ego, <laughs> yeah. and he eats him that, that was just fucking when he turns into big huge Pac-Man I, <laughs> fucking great um, yeah, so we got through the Stan Lee cameo. Uh, we got post credit scenes over here with James. All right, there's actually quite a few for this movie. Uh, mm-hmm. There's four. We just went over one with the Watchers. Uh, but in a pre credits scene, actually, says Craglin tries to use Yaka Arrow only to run away after accidentally stabbing Drax in the shoulder. <laughs> so yeah, I remember that. Trying to, to get whistle. The fuck out of Dodge. Oh yeah, let, let's before you say that, let's go over the fact that Yondu died in this one. Oh, he, he died. Got, yeah, he, he died. So that's why that's why Craglin has gone. the air. That's why Craglin has the air. That was kind of that was kind of sad. The air oh, would yeah, never work he, for me. He gave up. He, he gave up. up the, then he like froze and and what I thought was kind of cool is because he's a part of the Ravagers. The Ravagers, I think, mm-hmm. is yeah, like the, 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 the gang or the you know pirates. Um, they gave him like a Ravagers funeral. With all the fireworks and all the stuff at the very end, which is cool because at the beginning of the movie they were saying that he were, wasn't worthy. He yeah, wasn't, they were yeah. arguing with each cool. other. That was a little tearjerker at the very with, end. With uh, Stallone. Yeah. Oh, that's, Stallone. that's right. You're See, I can't whistle, so that arrow would never work for me. No. Well, and he had to have the fib. Like that was also part of it too. Yeah. It yeah. wasn't just the whistle. So I'd have the, I'd have that on my Mohawk head, but then I you can't whistle. So. <laughs> hey, <laughs> arrow, <laughs> arrow, come hither. So have like a dog whistle app. Exactly. All right, so I, d- I don't really remember this one, uh, but Stakar Ogard, inspired by Yandu Udantas, yeah. sacrifice, brings his wife, Alita Ogard, and comrades Martin X, Charlie 27, and Krugar, and 
mainframe together and proposed they reassembled their old team. Oh, was yeah, that's when right the Ravagers after? were, yeah. It was uh, Stallone's character, and then, um, remember, Vin Rames was in there for, yeah. like, half a second. And they're like, oh, let's, you know, kind of let's, let's get, get back, back together. So that was right after the funeral? Yeah. Yeah, that was right okay. after the funeral. Sure, would have taken yeah. place after? Okay. Yeah. So then you have... Yesha tells her chambermaid she is creating a being capable of destroying the guardians of the galaxy, deciding to call her creation Adam. Which is a call out to Adam Warlock, which is okay. um, a character in the comics. And he, they actually had him in the collectors. They had his cocoon, which is, you see the gold cocoon looking thing that they built yeah. him in. Okay. Um, he's, that's actually. Um, they had to redo it for that, but they had his cocoon in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1 and then a couple other post-credit scenes in the collector's collection. Yeah. Like, in one of those things, it was, like, this big display. thing. Yeah. yeah. With Howard the Duck. All right, then uh, one more. Peter Quill walks in on an adolescent-sized Groot playing video games and showing his disgust over the vines Groot has shed all over the room. <laughs> Groot responds in a mocking tone, further annoying Quill. I am Groot. That's why I like Groot. It's great. So, yep, that was all. Uh, so we got, we're, we are we are through that one. Right. Um, Spider-Man. Should be all Spider-Man, right? Um, 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 yes. Are we? Yes. yes. No. Spider-Man Homecoming. Spider-Man Homecoming today. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. There we go. I tossed the paper down too quick. Sorry. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, Spider-Man Homecoming. Release date July 5th in the UK. Or 2017 in the UK. July 7th, 2017 in the US. Synopsis. A young Peter Parker uh, who made his sensational debut in Captain America Civil War begins to navigate his newfound identity as the web-slinging superhero in Superman Homecoming. Thrilled by his experience with the Avengers, Peter returns home where he lives with his Aunt May under the watchful eye of his new mentor, Tony Stark. Uh, the paper's kind of a little not <laughs> yeah. printed right. The ink uh, is yeah, terrible. It's, it's inferior mentor? I wouldn't mean right now. Uh, Peter tries to fall back into his normal daily routine, distracted by thoughts of proving himself to be more than just your n- friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. But when the Vulture emerges as a new villain, everything that Peter holds most important will be threatened. Tom Holland as Peter Parker or Spider-Man. Michael Keaton as Adrian Toomes and the Vulture. Uh, Robert Downey Jr. as Tony Stark, Marissa Tomei as May Parker, John Favreau as Happy Hogan, Gwyneth Paltrow as Pepper Potts. Um, we have Donald Glover as uh, Aaron Davis or the Prowler, which is actually kind of cool. Um, and I'll get into that in just a minute. Um, the box office did eight hundred and eighty point uh, two million, which is right up there. Uh, pretty good uh, first movie yeah, uh, of the really series gutty. debut. You know, that's his Tom Holland's first movie as Spider Man, right? Well, he was well, in Civil uh, War, but Civil his War. standalone. Like, yeah. This is his movie. Yeah, it's the first yeah. standalone Spider Man in the MCU, and so that's almost a billion. That's, that's pretty good. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Um, so, in the very beginning, um, it shows the Leviathan, which is one of the big ships from Avengers mm-hmm. uh, Assemble, or the first Avengers. And it's in the middle of Grand Central Station, I believe, is where it crashed in, where Hulk punches Thor <laughs> at the very end. He's like, Poof. Yep. <laughs> uh, it's the same Leviathan as that in uh, Adrian Toomes, who isn't the Vulture at this point. But the, So it says it's, it's, it's eight years back, which is a it's like, it's weird... Like a- Scrap construction guy, right? Picks up. Yeah. Was he? He was employed by the city. Like that's what his job was. No. Right? Pick up uh, no. All the he had his own contract. He, he had his own contracting business. Okay. And uh, and that's why, um, and, and that's why he was there to pick stuff up. So he's picking up basically Chitari uh, technology and all that. Yeah. And then uh, damage control, which is what it's called. It's a it's a branch of the government that Tony Stark helped found uh, to help clean up all the damage that, you know, the Avengers caused when they're you know, saving the planet. Um, uh, yeah, it was kind of cool that they kind of had that tie-in, uh, but Damage Control came in and stopped Adrian Toomes uh, from doing what he was doing. 
Uh, let's see where we're at here. I think I I am all fucky on this. Yeah, there we go. Damage control was actually in the comics, which is cool too. Uh, the eight years later thing was actually a mistake by the directors, I believe, uh, because in the timeline it actually kind of fucks up because it's actually supposed to only be six years the way the Marvel timeline leads mm-hmm. up. So that was kind of a mess up. So there's there, not yeah, everything's so, perfect. And, and that would be considered. I don't know if it's considered an Easter egg, but yeah. You know, only two people who really follow yeah. comics would ever catch that. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so thanks for calling me a nerd. I appreciate mm-hmm. it. Sure. <laughs> uh, uh, so Michael Keaton as the Vulture is awesome. Uh, not only is because Michael Keaton's an amazing actor, but um, yeah, I see you over there. <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, no, Trying I want to eat one. the quietly. No, you're good. It doesn't work. <laughs> So Chris Martis hates you right now. Um, well, that's right. Yeah, he, that's one of his pet peeves. Um, so uh, not only is it because Michael Keaton is an amazing actor, um, I think it's just cool that he was Batman. So he was in the DC yeah. universe, and now he's in the MCU. And he's just, just he kind of plays like, those parts well. He's uh, he's he just is, yeah he's just a he's, he's just, just a likable yeah. guy, but yeah. so sinister. Like it's just it's just he's got the, the look uh, for he, it. <laughs> Kind of, kind of jumping out of the Marvel universe, but I think it was the American Assassin. Mm. American Assassin. He was like the Sounds the trainer. I don't know. It's like a younger it. kid. He goes to the beach with his girlfriend, like overseas, and the terrorist group drives in on the beach with the boats, slays like it's like a Cabo feeling, like just a beach atmosphere oh, party okay. environment. Yeah. And they just fucking shoot like everybody up, and they shoot his girlfriend. And so, like from that point on, he's like. I want to kill terrorists. <laughs> and so, like, like no shit. Like, he trains himself, and then he somehow he gets involved in this fucking training camp. Yeah. And I think it's... I'm pretty sure it's Michael Keaton who's, like, his trainer. He's like, ah, you ain't fucking cut out for this, and he ends up being cut out for it. Yeah. That's a good fucking movie. Continue on, sir. No, you're good. I, I never <laughs> watched that. I know. I need to pull um, I'm going to look it up while you're going ahead. <laughs> Just to confirm that I was correct. Um, it's the, not even going to be called that. It's not even Michael <laughs> Keaton. I know. Exactly. Sorry. Hold on. <laughs> I was drunk. Uh, so uh, Adrian Toomes' uh, sidekick in this, the guy who's making all of his um, weapons and everything, is uh, is named the Tinkerer and he's actually the Tinkerer from the comics he's actually the Tinkerer the Tinkerer I can't speak right now um what's cool too is the Spider-Man theme um the composer actually decided to use the Spider-Man TV show theme from the 60s so he put that then well why wouldn't they keep that but, in there well because it's a newer movie and so then maybe they're trying to keep it you know closer to but I thought it was cool how they used that little a little thing in there. Um, and what's cool is when the Avengers Tower is seen when they're flying over New York, mm-hmm. uh, they actually put the Avengers theme in for that, like, couple of seconds. Just as it it's yeah. flying by. Yeah. So it's like it, even the music in the movie was, was playing along with uh, was playing along with it. Just like kind of Guardians, how all those songs in there played along with the story, played along with everything. It was cool. Um uh, I thought it was cool how they had uh, phone footage, or how it looked like Peter put together like a home movie, like phone footage from the Civil War fight, like when he like puts his phone down and then he goes and like fights Ant Man and oh. whatever, and then he comes back and gets it. It was kind of cool, like a kid would do, you know? Yeah, he's like, look it, look he's what like, I oh, did. Man. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> um, uh, it was really selfie cool. video. <laughs> Hashtags. Um, it was cool that it actually was confirmed by him, too, that uh, he was the little boy from Iron Man 2 with the Iron yeah, Man. The Iron Man you so he was, like, please stoke to me, Iron Man. Exactly, yeah. and to have this internship. And that's why he's, like, that's, like, his hero. And, oh, yeah. Uh, his legit hero, like, saved him. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then, you know, and then he's, like, this genius, and then Peter Parker's a genius, too, so it's like he looks up to him a bunch of different ways. But um, Flash Thompson, the... the the kind of bully kid. He actually was a bully in the comics, which is cool. They brought him around, but he's still like a nerdy kind of bully in this one, which is, I like how they kind of changed that up a little bit. Um, uh, Principal Marita, as I was talking about in uh, Captain America, the first one. I liked that. I saw, right? like, I, yeah, watching that with you. Like, this is, I continue, but yeah. I, Wait, I liked this part. Okay, so uh, from Captain America, uh, the first Avenger, the okay. very first one. 
uh, there was Jim Morita. He was one of the soldiers, one of the prisoners of war that Captain America went and saved. Oh, right? gotcha. Okay. And he was the Asian guy. Um, and he was in that movie, and the same actor that played Jim Morita is playing Principal Morita in Spider-Man Homecoming, and Principal Morita is the grandson of Jim Morita. Oh. So it's the same actor playing. His gra- he's playing his grandfather yeah. or grandson, vice versa. Yeah, and well, so there's a, his, his yeah, there's a picture of Jim Morita in his office. There's a picture of Howard Stark, I believe. There's a, like good like couple pictures. Yeah, throughout well, it was, it was throughout the movie, like throughout the classroom. Yeah, there was they there's have a banner, bunch of like, scientists right. and stuff really, like really that. Cool. So it's cool little call outs to the other movies. Um, I thought it was hilarious how Captain America was in the educational videos. And it's <laughs> it Hannibal was Burris. The, the horrible, cheesy. Yeah. yeah. And it's Hannibal Burris, who's a hilarious, like, deadpan comedian. Like, he's very dry. And how, uh, when he's about to play the video, he says, Yeah, I mean, I think he's a war criminal now, but I'm <laughs> supposed to show you these yeah. videos. You know, like, I thought it was, uh, that was just great. Um,. And when Happy Hogan is talking to, uh, to talking to Peter about, I can't even talk deal with this right now. I'm trying to wrap up all this Avengers Tower. You know, we're moving everything upstate. He's talking about how he has the a Stark's Hulkbuster armor, which is a cool callback to the to uh, Age of Ultron. This is kind of off topic. Uh-huh. I'm a little on topic, uh-huh. but a little, a little off. Yeah. So is there something, um, like a reason behind all the the first and last names being the same letters? Like Happy Hogan and... and Wait, uh, what? You, what? Pepper Potts and... Well, I mean, there's... No. no. Peter Parker, PP, yeah. and then PP, the and well, then I mean, HH. Like, Tony Stark, ha! Boom! TS, your oh, conspiracy is over, Sorry. You almost had it on my fucking phone. I was, like thinking, I'm like, was, I was about to story? fucking shit myself. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. How have I not noticed this? But, but there's a couple. There's a couple, but it's yeah. just... It, it could be just because when writing the characters, it was alliteration. I'm that's what, to that's what I wanted to know if there was any like reason behind it. No, I... I haven't heard anything. We should come up with our own theory. We start our own. Okay. Um, Let's start with PP. Yeah. There's two PBs. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's, there's two PBs. Girls have vaginas, boys have penises. <laughs> um, it's That's pee-pee. your. <laughs> Wait, what? It's PBs. It's, it's PBs. It's ma'am. It's PBs. No. It's PP? Oh, they said PBs. Like, no, do you have peanut butters? <laughs> PB and J's. Um,. So, Not he had the, the Stark's Hulkbuster armor, he, and he had Thor's magic belt, which was M- Megan Joro, I think. It, it, so which, he has Mew Mew and... And Megan Joro. <laughs> uh, that's, His accessories. That's how it was. Yeah, exactly. His accessories I mean, have crazy names. The first names. O of the Joro yeah, has was two was dots on top. I'm pretty umlauts. sure it's like fucking... Those are called umlauts. umlauts? I don't know is what them things are called. Does that make the O long? Like the O? <laughs> so Megan yeah. Juro. <laughs> so when Juro. you go to uh, uh, Ikea and you're getting like the whatever the cabinet suit, yeah. system, it's the... <laughs> <laughs> Um, (laughs) And it's kind of cool because, and I'm really hoping that that comes up in Endgame because it was. Ikea. I just want the two dots. They're in a fight in Ikea. (laughs) Thor's Thor's like, actually, I don't come from Asperg. I come from uh, (laughs) Ikea food court. See, they can all eat in the food court. I'm so strong because of the meatballs. I just eat the meatballs. It gives me strength. See, the last. See the movie where they where it ended, and then they're all just chowing down on that food at that horrible restaurant. I forget what. Oh, restaurant the was. the um, shawarma place. The shawarma. Mm-hmm. So now they can Shorma's like all chill good. at the Shorma's IKEA. Good. You can miss me with place. that shit, James. I'm sorry. Okay. No, you're good. Um, <laughs> no, I just I think it's meatballs. cool. I really hope that. Uh, <laughs> I really hope that. That comes back in Endgame because it's basically supposed to enhance his strength uh, for Thor, which Thor's already crazy. So his, his magic belt? His magic belt yeah. keeps, his, mm-hmm. keeps up his, his oh trousers. It intensifies his strength. Um, the Stanley cameo uh, in this one is him yelling at, uh, at Peter Parker for setting off a car alarm when he's swinging through. 
Uh, well, that's kind of a small one. Uh, and then you got post credit scenes over here. Yeah, post credit scenes. There we go. So we got a couple here. Adrian Toomes encounters Matt Gergen in prison and learns that he has quote friends looking to kill Spider-Man before confronting, or excuse me, yeah, before being confronted with a rumor about him knowing who the young crime fighter is. Toombs denies knowing Spider-Man's true identity and leaves to see his family. One of them. One of them. And the next one is uh, Captain America films a public service announcement on the importance of patience and breaks the fourth wall. Uh-oh. Informing the audience that they waited around for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But Go home. Now that that part is done, I was correct. The movie is called American Assassin. It is. Okay. I and knew you looked that up. It is Michael Keaton. And according to Rotten Tomatoes, it's only got 35%. But the people of Facebook gave it a 4.4 4 out of 5. Well, you well, can always yeah. trust Facebook. Yeah, 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 Facebook is where you go. But uh, just, just so, uh. <laughs> so you guys understand what the movie is. Okay. So, uh, when Cold War veteran Stan Hurley takes a CIA black ops, and Stan Hurley would be Michael Keaton, okay. takes a CIA black ops recruit, Mitch Rapp, the younger guy, under his wing, they receive an assignment to investigate a wave of random attacks on both military and civilian targets. After discovering a pattern of violence, Hurley and Rap join forces with a lethal Turkish agent, excuse me, Turkish agent, to stop a mysterious operative who wants to start a global war. I thought it was a good movie. That's Barely, a, that's not a pretty awesome to Rotten Tomatoes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but Rotten yeah. Tomatoes, they never give anyone good stars. They said Captain or, Marvel. Or IMDb movie. gave it 6.2 out of 10, so. Wait, what? I thought they said Captain Marvel was a good movie. See? They don't know what they're talking about. Yeah. Fuck you. Okay. Tomatoes. Who's so, running that? I don't know. Sorry, I'm eating some uh, amazing M and M's right now. Back in mm-hmm. peanut. Whoa! Who are the two movie critics that were like? Wasn't Ro- like Robert Engelbert? And Ebert. Oh, Sis- Ebert, Sis- not Ebert. Sis- Siskel and Ebert. <laughs> Did you Engelbert. Say, like Robert Humpledee. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, I said Robert, Engel- Robert, Engel- Siskel. Robert Ebert. And I was Robert thinking of Siskel? Engelbert Humperdinck. No, Gene Siskel and Robert Ebert. Gene Simmons okay. and Engelbert Humperdinck. <laughs> okay, so on that note, I was just going to wonder Nugent if we should take a break. Gene Simmons would be awesome. <laughs> right? Okay. Who, who again? Ted, Ted Nugent. Nugent. Oh, my Simmons. God. No, because they wouldn't <laughs> review movies. They would just talk about... I don't know. One would talk about hunting, and one would talk about vagina. For they, they wouldn't review a movie. Well, Gene Simmons is pretty. He's a pretty Jewish guy. I don't so know if he'd talk, talk about, about some, vagina. Are you kidding? He's married to a porn star. He tells. He, talks he about is. Her. Yeah, he. he Shannon Tweed. Oh, uh, don't know her. Wow. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, so. <laughs> Where's that button? <laughs> no, that's I put that in there. Yeah, sorry. Oh, uh, I tried to find it, and I just ended up with a fart. <laughs> fart bundling this works. So, what we're going to do is, before we get into Thor Ragnarok, we're going to take a little break. So that means you're going to have to wait a couple days for this next episode, guys. That's cool. I'll be back, bitches! <laughs> How's that going? I'm rich, bitch! <laughs> I am Groot. So we'll uh, we'll see and we'll or we'll talk to you in a couple days. See you at some one of those. We'll bye yeah. <laughs> <laughs> later. For any other info or a way to contact us, go to facebook.com slash t i l d e a t h p d c s t. That's facebook.com slash till death podcast podcast without the vowels. Thank you very much for listening. We'll catch you next time.